I just realized we didn't decide who was starting. Uh, hello and welcome to Hollowmania presented by BSM. My name is Sajer and I'll be your commentator for today alongside... Hello, I'm Rhymes with Mash. You might have seen me around. <laughs> yeah, he, he, he's kind of an obscure name in this tournament, but... <laughs> We're glad he's here. <laughs> I'm glad to be here with you. Yeah, this match. We've look We're looking at uh Gura Changos versus Tambourine Club. This is actually a pretty tight match in terms of seating. Yeah, yeah 15 versus 18 seed. Uh with Tambourine Club being far stronger in the LN skill set. Uh, while Gura Changos is better at the hybrids and the SV. Tambourine Club seating was pretty let down by the SV map. Yeah, I think Tambourine Club is pretty underseated, if I'm being honest. Yeah, just like look at those ranks. Uh, those are global ranks, so they. Uh, it could be unrepresentative of their actual like 4k rank but still <laughs> yeah i do know there are some seven key players on there but uh sudden death is also a world cup champion so <laughs> <laughs> uh yeah let's uh let's get into it we're starting off with gura changos's warm-up a what looks to be a custom map mapped by Jesus. <laughs> I don't I don't know they're Mexican. I they could be they, they could be Jesus. I don't know. Mexican stiff. A pretty short warm up, 55 seconds. Oh, yeah, I didn't even really notice. Yeah, it, we've been listening to this for like the past like 15 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> right, apologies for the late start. There was a bit of a bit of a panic moment where we thought you know, the teams wouldn't be able to make it, but everything's fine now. Only 10 minutes late. Better late than never. Speaking of, I should probably do a stream ping. True. Oh, everybody got pretty desync. Oh man, this doesn't seem to be a, a, a meme. So disappointed. Oh, look at Altros's act. Yeah, the, uh... <laughs> Answer, it, it is just like slow jacks, but like... <laughs> Jeez, okay. <laughs> That's kind of scary. He is the number one Mexican Mania player for a reason, I guess. Is he really? I didn't know that. <laughs> And that was an abrupt ending. <laughs> yeah, seven. Seven three hundreds. <laughs> uh, I wonder how much he practiced that. <laughs> oh my gosh. Legendary warm-up. <laughs> Another very <laughs> short one. But, uh... Eight stars makes me a little nervous. Oh no. They might want to put no fail on. <laughs> yeah. I 
actually HP 9, so they might not need it. Mm. These are some insanely skilled players, so but let's let's see if they'll if they'll actually need it or not. Although 30 second long 8 star map is definitely threatening. <laughs> Yeah, I'm actually really interested in how this match is going to go. This this very well could go to tiebreaker. Yeah. I mean, the top 32, all our teams here, is so ridiculously stacked. Yeah, like, even the match between number 1 seed and number 32 was... Not was, a sweep. It, it wasn't a sweep, and every every map was so close. Just one or two two hundreds difference. I it, it cannot be overstated enough how insane almost every single player here is. Yeah, these are two like mid range seeds, and they both have like number one country players. Or something like that. I guess not. Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's okay. eight stars. Uh, they don't. They have not. Uh, Playing Samira, holding ninety nine point six. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, I think I think we know what they're good at, what, what they're good at. <laughs> oh, Jesus! This is holding. Just barely held on. To the HP. And I'll just <laughs> with the 99. <laughs> Alright. Um, 1 cool. 200? <laughs> One, <two, laughs> One, 200 FC. Oh my gosh. Huh. Huh. Interesting. Good warm up. <laughs> it's worth my 30 seconds. Thanks, Epsilon. Going to the rolls, Gurachango's wins by a very substantial margin. Yeah, that means they will be able to pick first, and they'll have the option of protecting, uh, protecting first and banning second, or protecting second and banning first. It's A B B A. If you want to keep it concise. So, we've there's been this uh, trend throughout all most of these matches how we we really want to see SV1 be played because SV1 has not been played in a match yet. SV2 has, but only once. But I do not, unfortunately, do not think this is the the map. I mean, the match that we'll see that considering both teams' SV scores were pretty mid table. Yeah. But holding, it's gonna happen eventually. Oh, they're actually protecting right on time, which we've seen, oh. I think, banned a couple times. I'm not really sure. It's definitely been banned before. Generally, I've seen people opting to want to play LN2, our custom map, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, um, LN1 has been banned three times out of, like, six matches. No, they're banning SV1. No, come on. We, we, we have to see it eventually. It, ha it has to be. It's hard to convince people to play a three-minute SV map. One day. One day. Hopefully tomorrow. <laughs> Otherwise, it's not happening. <laughs> it's true. And, and another SV2, double, yeah. <laughs> that's two double SV vans in a row. <sighs> right after a double SV protect, in which not, none of them were played. What, What is going on? <laughs> Oh, 
Grochangos gets first pick. I don't know what they might choose. Prob definitely not LN. We saw Tambourine Club's uh, LN qualifier. Number two, by the way. <laughs> uh, they might go for the more physical side of the rice, maybe like rice three. Yeah, perhaps like rice three, rice four. And maybe even a hybrid, because uh, Gurachangos, despite Tambourine Club's excellent LN performance, managed to beat Tambourine Club's qualifier score on the hybrid map. So they could, uh, who knows, it's just fairly obvious that it's not going to be an LN. <laughs> yeah, it's interesting that Gurachangos was able to beat them out on hybrid but not LN. And Tambourine Club beat them on LN by quite a margin. Interesting. I definitely think that they're going to opt for Rice. But... Oh! Nope. Consider me corrected. Hybrid 1 is their pick. Sasura of Despair. Which is kind of strange, because it isn't really anything like there isn't like a lot of uh tricky rice patterns or there's a few ln's in there but very interesting pick not a bad pick i'll give him that true It looks like we'll have Altros and Martin versus Flying Samira and Snow Scent. Man, going against Flying Samira and Snow Scent must be pretty scary. They've proven themselves as very strong players before. <laughs> well, all we can do is see what happens. Starting out, Snowsent has dropped a few of something. <laughs> They're having having a significantly low lower accuracy than everybody else in the first two hundred notes. Yeah, Altros is, the... is holding notably high accuracy. Martin not far behind. I think they might just have the Ack player advantage here. These jacks are pretty simple to act. We'll see as the map picks up a little more with the hybrid patterning. Yeah, Girl Changos is solidly ahead right now, but Tambourine Club is right on their heels. If either one of them slips a couple 200s or even a miss, I think it's done for them. Yes, but there's only a quarter of the map left, and Altris is 99.95 accuracy. Doesn't seem to be going anywhere. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's a pretty clean win for Guru Changos. Yeah, 998,000. 32 300s from Altros. That's really impressive. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Martin's accurate. Martin's ratio is also really good. Just unfortunately dropped a 200. 
Snowsent also had double digit perfects, but those four 200s really hurt. Flying Samira took an SS, but not with great ratio. Comparatively. It's a great ratio, but compared to the other players here, it's not quite up to snuff. And so they're up 1-0. The ball is in Tambourine Club's court. I think it's pretty easy to predict what they're going to pick. <laughs> yeah, just a, just, just a bit. Yeah, it's Price just a matter one. of... <laughs> <laughs> LN1 or 2. It's a coin flip, I think. They protected LN1, but LN2 is a little bit more demanding on releases, I think. Oh, Google what? Do. Really? Okay. Uh, taking a slight risk. Definitely did not expect that. Okay. This could backfire heavily, but... Hmm. Hmm. They must be pretty confident in their ability, though. Like, I, I if guess they, if they if they skipped the LNs went straight for rice two. Maybe they're just saving those two LN, LN picks. Maybe they think they're free, and they're waiting to get up to two zero just to close it out. Mm. Maybe they're just bad at hybrids. Maybe they're cracked at rice. <laughs> <laughs> we'll just have to see. Uh, man, Snow Scent held 100 for a while there. <laughs> this is definitely more physical than the map we just saw. No surprise that Altros is still holding super high ack, and he even <laughs> just gained a hundredth of a percent. 99.98. Nobody really contesting that. Snow Scent coming in second with 99.88. And Flying Samira struggling a bit with ratio. There might have been a 200 in there, but... It's very possible that it could have been just unfortunate ratio at some parts. Yeah. Greta Changos is holding on pretty strong. No scent pulls back up to 99.9. Ultras. Come on. 99.98 holding strong. It's not budging. These are four really good accuracies. Just the fact that the lowest accuracy in the lobby is a 99.83. <laughs> right. That really shows how insanely skilled all of these players are. Oh, Snowsend just dropped a 200. Oh, really? Still tied with Martin, though, in terms of Ack. And Altros making all the difference. <laughs> Keeping the 99.90. How do you even. Okay. Oh! oh and fl Flying Samira takes a miss! 
Maybe it just got lost in the streams. Maybe it was a keyboard issue. I don't know. <laughs> that was a 999,000. <laughs> really? Oh my gosh. 9993. <laughs> 32 300s. Wow. And find Samir with the uh, V1 double S if it wasn't for that miss, which kind of. Yeah. Screwed that up. And. But the ratio. Worse than everybody else's. And uh, especially when compared to Altros over there. We don't... <laughs> yeah. I mean. 99.8, even with a miss, is still really impressive. 99.85 with a couple 200s is also really impressive. But they're up 2 to 0, and it looks like they're going with Rice 3 here. I'm th pretty sure this is the most physical map, and it's also pretty short. It's not that short, actually. I stand correct. <laughs> it's 248. What the hell? Hypermap that isn't an SV? How what? does he do it? How, do, how, how does he do it? <laughs> this is... Still has pretty... the Amelia background, though. <laughs> I think it has an SV dip, if I remember right. Yeah, it uh... definitely sounds like an SV song. <laughs> yeah, this is pretty bursty kind of speed, if I remember right. I don't know, I think Gurachangos might come up to match point here. I think the Tambourine Club has to pick LN if they want to get back in the game. Which, if they lose this, it could very well mean putting themselves at a disadvantage. This could be their last uh, pick coming up. Strategy-wise, it would make no sense to pick anything other than your Protect. Tell that to those guys that protected the SVs. <laughs> Whoa! Also, look, Altros has a 100%. Oh, wait, was that a double miss? That was a double miss from Snowsend and Martin. And um, Altros? Why? Altros? Hello? <laughs> <laughs> a quarter uh, of the way through the map with okay. a V2 double S. Like so, some of some of our some of our commentators have like constantly made jokes about like auto like having the auto mod on. No, oh. <laughs> there it goes. <laughs> I was wondering when that happened. That was ridiculously long. Has there like has, in any like respectable tournament has there ever been a V of V2 double S? I'd be very surprised if there was. I mean, in uh, Toho Cup, I think it was X Men that got one three hundred. <laughs> okay, X Men. Yeah, X Men things. I went up against that guy in tournament <laughs> on LN map. They got the one three hundred against my team. That's how I know. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Yeah, it looks like Martin and Snowscent are canceling each other out. Flying Smear is there, and Altros is killing also, it. Is, is, is a bit more than there. Yeah. <laughs> I... Back up to 99.99. Oh, I cursed. Rip. Yeah, this is... A little bit more of the speedy part of the map. I wonder what pattern tripped up the two at the bottom to make them both miss at like the exact same time. Martin just dropped a 200 and Snowstun dropped a 200 a, a couple hundred like a hundred notes or so back and those two are like completely synced <laughs> <laughs> man
man, I can't get over Altros's act. How many three hundreds? Another another triple nine thousand. Twenty six. Twenty six. That's less. That's less than it, than there was on Mogu Mogu. <laughs> that's insane, and it takes us to match point. Tambourine Club is in a corner here. If they don't pick LN one here, what are they doing? Man, 26 out of 1,600 notes. Jeez. We've seen a lot of double-digit perfects, but, like, come on. <laughs> oh, and they're picking Owl. LN2. <laughs> Let's go. I think this is their best shot at a point. Yeah, I, I just can't imagine Flying Samir and Snowset getting swept. <laughs> I know. They are missing a player, to be fair, I think. Either that or they just haven't put him in. Uh, yeah, because they, they only had one player and then Snowsent oh. woke up like three minutes before the match. Oh yeah, sudden death. Like, where, where'd they go? Like, right. he, they were the one that Sunapple was talking to. Huh. Alright, make or break, can the tampering club do it? Altros, not carrying as usual, 99.9 something. Close. This map is pretty forgiving with its OD 6.9, but the releases are something else. And, of course, Altros... Oh, actually, I think that was a 200 or maybe just a burst of 300s. Snow Scent and Martin lockstep as usual. this point, it looks like Tambourine Club just can't beat them on Ack. Yeah, we're like a third of the map through, and Outros... <laughs> not 99.9, not .9, but still, that is... It's an LN high. map. <laughs> and and like, Fine Samira is still struggling with accuracy. Yeah, I think speaking. Flying Samira is a lot more of a physical player. Let me check who played the Ellen map in the qualifiers. Mm. Ah, yes, they're missing. They're missing Sudden Death, who is their uh, bet their best Ellen player. Right. Huh. That's probably why they skipped out on the Ellens at first. Yeah, the last quarter of the map, I think all they can do is hope for a major screw-up on the Grochangos team. Oh, that was a 100 on Snow Sense side. Not looking great for them. These endings, dreamy bits. Yep, nope, that's... And that's that. <laughs> I did not expect it to be a sweep. <laughs> it 
Remember, remember earlier when you said when you mentioned how Tambourine Club was really underseated. I not gonna uh, lie, I'm pretty I'm pretty sure Gurachangos is the one that's a bit underseated. <laughs> maybe, maybe. Yeah, well, GGs. Congrats and, to Gurachangos and Tambourine Club. You still got a shot in the losers bracket as the rounds progress. You'll definitely have more chances. Yeah, especially when they have their full team. Yeah. Uh, so, n no one switched out. <laughs> the same four not. people played every map. Huh. And so, that's that. Uh, yeah. Kurachangos moves on to the winner's bracket round of 16. Well, uh... Um, not you can book them. Uh, <clears throat> Tambourine Club moves down to the losers bracket, where I'm sure they'll they'll wreck havoc. <laughs> yeah, it looks like Gurachangos is going up against Usada Pakora, the two seed. <laughs> yeah, we'll see how that goes. That's gonna be that, interesting. Yeah. That And this is our first sweep, by the way. Oh, yeah, that's true. Obviously not counting the win by default. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm surprised oh. it took this long. Thank you, everybody, who stopped by to watch. It's been Rhymes with Mash and Sidejir, of course. Uh, any closing remarks? We are not sponsored by Walmart. If you if you were there when that was when that was said, uh, I, I'm sorry. Uh, this is a public announce public apology. <laughs> we are not sponsored by Walmart yet. Yet. Anyway, thanks again. We'll see you in the next stream. Bye.